My Roadster I got about three years ago. It's a fantastic car. It blows away anything else on the road pretty much. And no gas. I can drive right by the gas stations. I charge it to home so I never have to even go to a place to fuel. Uh, I've got a Roadster. I've had it for the last three years. And I power it off the uh, solar on the roof of my house. So the solar makes all the electricity for my house and the car. I drove to Palm Springs this week and back. Not a problem. I've had my car for two months now. I was already sold on electric drive. The thing I like about it are all these little gadgets. You know, I, of course I'm free of oil and I love that and I'm happy. But I love like the little nice horn, like beep beep, here I come, look out, this car's quiet. I had the original Honda EV. I've been a solar proponent and I just put 43 collectors on my roof and I'm going all solar with everything. So I was just waiting for technology and the engineering to catch up with EVs again and it's here and I'm ready to go. Man, e-ticket ride, man, took off like, <laughs> like it was gone. <laughs> I own two Leafs. Me and my wife both live within five miles of our work and so it's a perfect car for us. I like the feel of it. It's pretty it's spacious in the back. I, I have three kids so that's something I'm looking for. It's something that I can save gas. We have a charging station at work already so love the electric car. Uh, we love it. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, like it a lot. She has to try it first. I want her to go full electric but it's hard to uh, convert people. It takes time. But sometimes just getting the feel of it, which I think is positive. You really have to drive one, is what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, it's perfect. Works from home. She has solar panels on her roof. You know, she can charge her car all day. Very rarely would she drive, like, close to 100 miles a day. So it's, like, ideal for what she she does as, uh, you know, lifestyles. Good car. I like it. Mm -hmm. yes. What do you like the most about it? The handling and the responsiveness. The immediate response. Step on the gas, takes off. Yeah. I would buy one, yes. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, I know that at the beginning it's going to be the price will be higher, but then at the end you're going to save a lot in the long run, so it's pretty cool. I like it, feels nice. Right now I'm driving a Ford Mustang. I have to spend about $40 a week just on gas, and I don't even fill it up. So. <laughs> I love driving electric. I just like the torque and the way it drives and everything. I drive a lot of mileage, so I do convert to gas a lot. And, and it's just, you don't even realize you've converted. So it's just a great car. Great piece of technology. I'm gonna drive my electric car into the future. Wow, this thing lights up, doesn't it? Yeah. So you're ready to go. Okay. Anyway, put it in drive and let's, let's go. Mm -hmm. The whole idea with a plug-in electric car is yeah. you plug it in at home and use your home's cheap electricity yeah. to run your car. Yeah. It's got satellite radio, it's got OnStar, it's got a separate telephone that's built into the car. And it locked the doors and we're in drive. And you're ready this drive, go. this looks like a real car actually. This is such a great car. This is like I saw it and I was like, wow. That's funny because I'm barely doing anything. Yes. I drive 98% of the time on the battery. It is fun. <laughs> so the Volt's an electric car. It always uh -huh. runs on elect electricity. So you can go 40 miles on the battery. The battery is actually down the middle and across behind your back. It uses the battery first. When the battery gets down to zero, there's a generator that runs in gasoline that will come on occasionally to keep the battery charged and to run the car. Mm. Well, yeah, this car is so nice. Yeah, I like it better than the other one. I find a lot of people discover new things about the car after they own it and just how much you don't buy gas or don't use gas. This is a really amazing car. How convenient it is just to plug it in at home, keep it topped off, and then every time you get in the car, it's the battery's full. He's like, you can do whatever you want. He's like, but remember, it's your ticket. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. just, oh, yeah. You just get more power. <laughs> yeah, I feel it. And then if, you, so much. Nice. if you put it in low, it's not really a low gear, it just regens more aggressively. Okay. And it recharges, it. so it's more of one pedal drive. Yeah, I feel it when you take the foot off the yeah. brake. Yeah, that's all. Oh, that's the power, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> I was pretty much so, slow before, but the, that, that kind of took it over the edge. Yeah, we should get this car. Whoa. Turn it off. Yep. All right. I love the yeah, noise. That was great. What do you think about that? It's pretty awesome. I, it's the first time I've ever seen an electric VW, yeah. 
This is the Model S. That's right. Oh, I, uh, I love it. And I want to get one. I love that it's made right here. <laughs> so in California. So really want to get one. So. No, I can have a leak. Oh, you do? I just bought it yesterday. Oh, great. And yeah. what, what do you like about your car? Um, it's really quiet and smooth and and I'm helping the environment. <laughs> we're about to find out. We're not in eco mode. We're in the good badass mode. So we're okay. fun. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Feel out. There are actually many electric cars here today who drove here on sunshine. Yeah. Is... Thank you, everybody. I am very proud to be a part of this event today. And as was said, to be uh, only one of two members of Congress so far, that drive a fully electric vehicle. This is my Nissan LEAF. I've had it for a year. I was just telling a reporter from the Daily Breeze, I haven't been to a gas station in one year. I believe a real shift is underway, a change that will not only help clean up the skies over Los Angeles, but really begin to roll back the threat of global warming. I honestly believe that for too long, our dependence on gasoline has kept us entangled in some of the most unstable parts of the world. And more than once, our total reliance on oil has cost us our principles. We need to do more to make wide-scale adoption of electric vehicles a reality. I have been a big advocate, and I know many of you are too, for more infrastructure, more charging stations to support this growing appreciation and the growing appeal of electric vehicles for American consumers. Uh, we need more of our municipalities uh, to believe that and every new building, every new development, everything that happens ought to come with charging stations so more Americans will feel uh, more safe and secure in purchasing an electric vehicle. To find out how you can benefit from plug-in electric cars and trucks, go to pluginamerica.org.